to the Pharisees. Even if they are God's own people, they don't have this faith. Even if the disciples, they are growing, but their faith is also lukewarm. So Jesus wanted to show, because Jesus has planned about the whole church is not only a church by the Jewish people. Jesus' plan of the church is a very large, the whole world, all Gentiles will be the major church. So we have today. So that is reflecting even at that time. You see so many events of Jesus. He did most of the miracles. Many of them were Gentiles. So now we have to understand the gift of faith this woman received is from Jesus. <laughs> and so he is the one who is making this scenario to teach the whole humanity. And when this woman said this, Jesus said, yes. Woman, your faith is great. I want this type of faith. Not because of your ceremonies of the Jewish people, but the faith. Jewish people have got a lot of rituals, but no faith. They think by rituals, they can please God. God is not pleased with our rituals. That is why the Lord always say, I don't want your offerings of burnt offering or I want mercy. So now, so like this, we have to analyze every event in the healing. Now, the centurion came to Jesus, said, my servant is sick. He's about to die. And Jesus first, Jesus said, uh, this is Matthew chapter 8. Jesus said, I will come to your home and heal him. See that Jesus' readiness. He's a Gentile. Centurion is a Gentile. But Jesus said, I will come to your home. Now all the Pharisees are upset. Why? You go to the house of a Gentile? That is forbidden for a Jew. But he will do anything for such a person. Now this centurion is telling, Lord, I am not worthy that you come under my roof. But you say one word from here, there my servant will be healed. What? Hey. <laughs> oh, I have not seen such a faith even in Israel. Even in Israel means with his own people, which include his apostles. So who gave this faith to the centurion? It is the Lord only. But he wanted to show the faith can be given to anyone, anyone whom God wants. And what is so special about the faith of the centurion? Why he said, you don't have to come. You say one word from here, there my servant will be healed. So we have to analyze what is the meaning. So what was the faith of the centurion? The centurion. So now we have to understand what the centurion. Yeah. The centurion believed he is God. He is almighty. He is eternal, transcendent. So when he is God, God do not need to go to a place to, to, to transmit his power. God is everywhere. God is omnipotent. That is what he believed. He believed he is God. So he don't have to physically go to do something because he is everywhere. He is everywhere. And Jesus said, Go according to your faith, be it unto you. And at the same time, the healing take place there. You know, I tell you, you can watch 
a set of my animation films, most of the healing events are in the animation done. It is also, some are in Hindi, but Malayalam, there are more than 42 episodes, English also almost, but Hindi, everything is not done. When you see this, all these things I have studied to make this animation film, to write the script for this. And then when you, when you, when you do, when you learn this in more detail, going, studying, praying every word in minutely, you will be intoxicated. You will be filled with power. You will be filled with a, such an anointing. Okay, now, our, before we make, we will now quickly make a prayer. Now we are going to activate this gift of healing. Gift of healing, okay? Are you ready? So, now, how should we do? Um, how should we do? Do you know the yesterday's group? Are you all there yesterday's? Can you move to that group, yesterday's group? Move to that group, yesterday's group. So group number one, near the bishop. Group number two, this side. Group number three, where is group number three was? Ah, there, for the Raphael, group number three. The Raphael. Is the healer. <laughs> group number three. Group number four, here. Group number four, here. Where is that? Ah, here. Group number four, here. Group number five, here. Yeah, here, yes. Group number six. If anybody, new, anybody who has come, you can join in any of the group. Now we are going to activate the gift of healing. Gift of healing. No, 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 no. Okay. Now you hold your hands together. All, everybody sit closely and hold your hands together. And we are going to pray for an anointing. Yeah. I hope in every group there is a priest. Okay. Now sit close, a little bit close by, and hold hands together and we pray a prayer now. Oh, Holy Spirit, anoint us. Open the charism of the healing. O oh Lord, for evangelizing, you have given the tools for evangelization. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demon. Now, Lord, you said believers will have these signs. They will lay hands over the sick and the sick will be healed. Now, everybody praise God, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody praising Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, open this charism of healing. Open the charism of healing. Everybody praise loudly. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe. I am not a healer. I am a believer. I believe in you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open the gift of healing. You said it. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse the leper. Cast out demons. You said it. Now give these charisms, open these charisms for these people, these your beloved brothers and sisters to serve the humanity, to serve the people here. You saw the people and moved with compassion, moved with pity. The same way you send us into the villages to heal them. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Now, in your group, you ask, is there anyone having any pain or any healing? You ask. And for that person, you pray. You ask, whoever wants a healing, whoever has a sickness, 
you identify and that person can be in the middle and all of you pray for that person and when you pray you also ask the holy spirit is there any messages to be told the holy spirit may speak some messages about uh, something to inform that person yes start start yes shala halabala 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 pray for one of the sick person identify a sick person in your group or whoever need a healing now you all together pray for that person praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah lord everybody shandala halabala 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 shandala shaji adirto shala halabala 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 balabala balabala oh jesus open the gift of charis open the charism of healing heal the sick raise the dead cleanse the leper cast out demons heal the sick raise the dead cleanse the leper cast out demons heal the sick raise the dead cleanse the leper cast out demons you said it lord believers have these signs they will lay hands over the sick and the sick will be healed sick will be healed the sick will be healed oh jesus i believe the sick will be healed the sick will be healed praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah lord hallelujah shala hala bala 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 oh with compassion with compassion we pray with compassion we pray with compassion praise you jesus thank you jesus we pray with compassion shala hala bala hala bala hambala compassion and mercy compassion and mercy praise you jesus thank you lord thank you lord Okay. Shall we? 